Okay, welcome back to my channel, y'all. So right now I am showing you all the 5x5 HD lace closure from my hair company. And I just want to show you how very transparent and how much it blends in with the skin tone. So right now I'm going to use um, some water and a comb to brush the baby hair back and get ready to prep my wig, no, prep my closure for um, bleaching the knot. All right, so I have prepped the closure and now I am gonna take some quick blue powder, I believe that's what it's called, and I am going to take some 40 volume developer and I'm gonna mix that together until I get the consistency that I like. And I normally go for a toothpaste consistency and I am going to then apply the bleach to the closure and I'm just going to use a knife to apply the bleach and then I'm going to let the closure sit for 35 minutes and you can let it sit for the desired time that you would like but I usually go for 35 minutes because that tends to get the job done. You also want to make sure you are not pressing the bleach through the closure or well, pressing the bleach on the closure too hard because it will bleed through and then you will have the roots and some of the hair on the closure bleached and you don't want that you just want the knots to be bleached so also like I stated don't press the bleach into the closure too hard kind of dab it on there like y'all are spreading peanut butter on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich all right all right Alright, so I did not record my wig making process because I have a video on here, probably two or three videos of how I make my wigs. Here I am attempting to flat iron my wig to show y'all I was just going for a bone straight look, but I could not get my flat iron to heat up, so and I didn't feel like taking this part out of the video, so here y'all have it, me trying to flat iron the wig, but my flat irons would not get hot, so yes. All right, so here I am um, hot combing all of the flyaways back so that when I go to cut the lace on this closure, I don't cut any of my hairline. I wanna make sure I'm just cutting the lace as close to the hairline as possible but not getting rid of any of the hair in the hairline. So I am pinning the hair back and like I stated, I've already used the hot comb to bring all of the hair out of the front of the closure. We'll bring all of the hair from the front of the closure back making sure all of my little flyaways are out of the way. I am using a eyebrow archer to cut the lace and I noticed as I was editing this video that y'all I wasn't really in the camera so that's really all I was doing if y'all see the top of my head most of this part but I'm just taking the eyebrow archer to cut the lace and I'm cutting the lace as close to the hairline as possible. All right, so this is the closure after I have cut the lace off and I have not applied any 
freeze spray or anything to lay it down I didn't plan to because I was planning to take it right back off but I just wanted to show y'all like this looks very natural I had already applied some foundation to the closure I really didn't have to but I just wanted to look very much so like my skin and look like my scalp but y'all it's giving off very much so scalp vibes honey and y'all don't see lace like you see absolutely no lace So as y'all can see, I was separating my baby hair from the hairline, well not the hairline, but separating the baby hair out so that it could just be laid down and I can get it to stay in place. I'm using the free spray to tame all the flyaways at the top of my head, get my hair as flat as possible. And yeah, that's why I have the scarf on. I am just getting my baby hair to lay properly. All right, so now I have removed the scarf and look y'all, like I have done absolutely nothing yet, but I am going in and doing my baby hair. So I decided not to go for the whole dramatic and baby hair all through the front of the clo closure. I decided to go with just the little side, side baby hair action. That's just all I wanted for this look. So here I am again, adding yet some more free spray and um, hot combing my hair some more and then I am about to go in and scope the baby hair and I'm only using got to be gel for the baby hair because I didn't have time to go through with the um, mousse and actually lay the baby hair so that's all I'm doing for my baby hair and styling the front of the closure to make it look very natural All right, so now I am taking the eyebrow archer and I am going in and trimming off the baby hair so that I can go ahead and start styling them. And I'm just, really, I don't do any type of exact technique. I just trim however I can trim. My archer was pretty dull, so it took a little bit to get the um, baby hair trimmed off, but that's literally what I'll do. Sometimes I twist them, sometimes I just go and do what I feel like. So yeah, there's no specific way to trim my baby hair. I'm just doing whatever I feel like doing that day. All right, so I am taking just a small dab of got to be gel and I am dabbing it on the baby hair itself and I am just gonna take the baby hair brush that I have and I am going to scope the baby hair. Like I told you, I did not have time. I would have just um, used the mousse like I always do. I love to use Apogee, but I didn't have time. I was headed out, so I had to use the got to be gel so that I can get it done quick and I knew it was gonna hold so that's just all I'm doing right now is scoping the baby hair and y'all I just can't keep explaining or stressing how natural this dang on closure looks honey y'all need to go ahead and shop with your girl I will link my 
personal Instagram below and I will link my hair company um, Instagram on there as well. Here I am again with the hot comb, y'all, and it's just to make sure everything is in place. Y'all, I did not have a fresh braid down under this wig, so I had to get my hair as flat as possible while not having a very flat braid down. So this is why I'm continuously using this hot comb. And yes, yeah, so eventually y'all will see me go in with my concealer, and it will be just to kind of widen up the part a little bit and make it look a little bit more natural um the part looks fine but i just wanted it to be a little bit wider so i can give off a little bit more of a scalp vibe um just a little bit more but all in all i didn't need the concealer i just decided to go in with them with some myself so yes I also want to make note that y'all this came pre-plucked y'all I did not pluck not even a strand of hair out of this closure so this was just all me putting it on um, and just pulling out the baby hair that was already on the wig so I just want y'all to know that off that like I did absolutely nothing to this wig except for put it on And this is the finished result. I want to thank y'all for watching this video and I will see y'all in the next one.